What's up, everybody? Welcome to day two of G7, the first Splatoon 2 major. I'm Nine Whole Grains, joined here by my good friend, Eric. Eric, how are you doing today? I'm doing fantastically right now, man. I am having a great time. Like, I was able to watch a lot of day one uh, from G7, and I was really, you know, not only really impressed with the production that we have going on here, but with the skill and just, like, the play happening right now with Splatoon 2, and it's finally come to that point where we're able to say, okay, let's get into the nitty-gritty. Let's see where teams are able to take their skill level and push it to the furthest limit possible. Um, so I'm really looking forward to what we have here, especially with, you know, the first winners of round that we're going to be seeing. Uh, you know, I think the first match we're seeing is Dead B versus Tomo, and there's a lot of good matches to come up following that, so... Um, but yeah, I mean, nine. let's talk a little bit about this, the tournament. It's come up pretty recently, but it has a lot of cool things going for it. What's the deets on G7 Splatoon for everybody that's just tuning in right now? Right. Well, the big one is, of course, that $500 prize pool, which I believe jumped up to the neighborhood of $570-some, which is, if again, if you're new, uh, money in Splatoon tournaments, not something that we've seen. Like, that's been a very recent thing. To this kind of like prize pot, and I know that $500 may not seem like a lot if you're coming from a CS:GO or a Street Fighter or even Smash Bros. recently, but this is this is a big deal. So that's there. Of course, this being the first tournament of its scale, uh, the first Splatoon 2 major as it's marketed itself, that's a big deal, and it's really the first opportunity to see this high-level play. And darn near every top Western team has turned up for this, and that's why it's. I mean, that's why we've seen the level of play that we've seen, despite the fact that the game's what two weeks old. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and there's there's a good level of competition we're seeing here. Uh, definitely super excited for it. And I, I don't know if you're looking out for any particular match, because uh, all of these are just looking super interesting. But for me, I've got I'm looking out for some of the teams that maybe came out, maybe not necessarily came out of nowhere. But you know, Fool's World. You look at them, and it's like this is a team that was formed on the spot, and this mm -hmm. is a team of of players. That you know maybe wouldn't play together normally, but they're they, they're looking like they have something here, uh, yep. and they, ha they have a real test with extermination though, and so I'm wondering to see how far they can keep it going. They do have a test with extermination. Extermination being, as you can see, the four seed there. They were one of the two teams, the other being Team Olive, that didn't lose a single game. All of the top teams, all the top four seeds, didn't drop a set, but Olive and Extermination did not lose a game. So. When you say Fool's World has a large task ahead of them, you're not kidding. But again, Fool's World did come out of a very difficult pool. They were able to get past Hanron, who uh, Smash and Splash 3 champions. Mm -hmm. That was Splatoon 1, but, you know, the, the residual skill carries over. Uh, so yeah, Fool's World, great. One match that I'm really looking forward to seeing. Uh, I want to see Rising Moon versus Creme Fresh. Rising Moon, uh, of course, those being two European teams, Rising Moon and Creme Fresh. Uh, Creme Fresh gave Extermination the best match yesterday. So we know that Creme Fresh is playing well. They've got a great pedigree. Rising Moon looked very strong in their matches as well. So I think that has the potential to be one of the closer matches today. And we all love close sets. Of course. I mean, and we're going to get a plenty of them coming up. So, I mean, we have best of fives throughout the majority of this bracket. Uh, towards the end of it, we have some best of seven in the grand finals. But that's about it. So we, we have a consistent momentum uh, probably going to be happening in these sets, and I expect a lot of Game 4s and Game 5s across the majority of them. 